What's the latest on the developments? What do we know about what caused this and why AWS's servers are down? Well, we don't know what caused it. We know it's affected, you know, thousands of sites out there using this S3 service, which is what they describe as a simple storage solution. Um, it can be used to house data and manage web applications and, and host software that uh, customers download from the, from the Internet. Um, Amazon has been posting updates on its site, which uh, seems kind of reassuring, but the language is a little, you know, can be interpreted multiple ways, like they believe they have a handle on the root cause and that sort of thing. So it's a lot of it's a lot like talking to your mechanic while he's fixing your car. Uh, but that, that's that's the latest is uh, uh, just that they're that they're working on it, trying to fix it. And they they keep posting these um, updates that they that they think they get it. They think they're getting closer. Ryan, AWS is mission critical for so many organizations. I mean, the CIA pays Amazon tens of, or maybe even hundreds of millions hundreds, of dollars yeah. a year, right? Uh, startups all across Silicon Valley are dependent on AWS. Does anybody use a day like today to reconsider that investment? No, I think today is about understanding if, what the durability in the system is and if there are ways to make sure you can try and mitigate it and be kind of multi-source. But I think the shift to cloud and shift to Amazon or other similar services is pretty inevitable. And so that move continues, but it's about trying to figure out how you become more robust. And Ryan, what do we know about what types of customers were harmed by this? I mean, how damaging <laughs> really is this for them? I think from the bit I read, it was on East Coast Focus. Uh, it was the East Coast Data Center, uh, East Coast AWS. But it looked like it took out a wide swath of customers across all sectors who were using it. Now, over the years, this has happened to Amazon periodically, right? Not, not frequently, but maybe about once a year, something like this does happen. Does this infect Amazon competitors? Like, have we seen Microsoft or Google's cloud go down with that kind of regularity or frequency? I, you know, I don't know the actual stats on it. I don't think there's any one that seems more robust than the others yet. I think it just seems, you know, where are you going to get the best pricing and the best uh, features? Amazon clearly is starting to win that business. Um, I don't think this makes many people change their point of view yet. Spencer, this really kind of underscores just how important Amazon is to our now internet society. And it's pretty amazing that just some kind of glitch in part of its system would cause such a widespread problem. I mean, what kind of repercussions is Amazon going to face for having this problem? I mean, they really need to be held to a very high standard. Yeah, I mean, they'll have some explaining to do to their customers and, and, and more reassurance uh, reassurances to make. But you're right. I mean, some of the companies affected include uh, Expensify, which is like this online expense report tool, um, Trello, which is kind of an online project management tool, and even like a, a automated email alert sent by a, a Metra a commuter rail system in, in Chicago was affected by this. So it was very sweeping uh, uh, ramifications of, of whatever internal problem they have and creating a lot, of, a lot of havoc out there with, with their customers. Spencer, everyone today is checking the AWL, AWS Health Dashboard. Uh, they posted this recent update at 1.12 at p.m. They said S3 object retrieval, listing, and deletion is fully recovered, but they're still working on adding new objects to S3. So as our Amazon interpreter, what, what do they mean? And do they have to speak uh, more frankly when this kind of uh, outage affects the entire Internet? Well, that, that's, that's it right there. I mean, I'm sure that means someone to something to, to someone somewhere. Um, I, they, I think that their uh, public relations department, their email must run on S3 because they've been kind of ra radio silent today. Um, so it, it has been difficult to interpret this. And, and, uh, and again, the, if, you, if you read the statements carefully, um, it, 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 there's no real clear answer on when this will be fully resolved. So it's kind of clear as mud.